You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Room. And I said, vegan or not, you're not putting that anywhere near me. Well, that's not the first time you've said that. Well, hello there, cherubs. Lee, you're a vision as always in your circus tent. Thank you. I misjudged the size. <laughs> which and the is... pattern <laughs> and the style <laughs> and the whole outfit, really. I'm going to go and stand in front of some Formula One race cars later, just let them know that they're ready to go. <laughs> the end is the chequered flag. Is it? Yeah. Do they not do it at the beginning? End flag. Okay. End flag. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but I, I, I do appreciate the matching brooch. Thank you. Thank you. Out of the whole, that's the, <laughs> the one thing. Uh, but what have you got in store for the showbiz? Oh, this week, if you've ever wondered what a member of the royal family might like to eat, I've got some news. <laughs> well... On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV is our website, and on YouTube or podcast service. Look for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. And as people who have interacted with us on social media bumble across the bottom of the screen, we get ready to speak to Mike and his buzz. <laughs> So when you go into the smallest room in the house. Okay. You know what I mean by that, don't you? The bathroom, Mike. The, the toilet. The toilet. Well, not the bathroom. Because not, we're not really concerned about the bath. You don't, I don't call it the toilet. I go the bathroom. Is there a bath in there? Is it? There's a shower in there. Okay, so it's not a bathroom then, is it? It's a, oh, whatever. It's a shower room. All right, whatever. Just, we don't right. say the toilet. Not common. <laughs> know what's in there. <laughs> That's why I said the smallest room. Okay. Which is technically not true because my understore, understairs is a room. But anyway, um, do you check out before you, you, you know, sit down? Check out what? Check around the area. <laughs> check for like spiders. No. No, you just Because I don't sit live down. in a haunted house. Okay. I live in a regular house, so I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure you've talked about having huntsmen in your garage before. Yeah, but that's the garage and I don't do a <laughs> in there, I don't. <laughs> Only, only wheeze in the garage, no poos. Only, yeah. Only pee. Only liquids. Yes. Mm. So no, I don't, don't. Tend you don't. To, you just no. sit down and you spend Locked a while down. there. No, I'm, I'm pretty much a person that when he needs to go, he goes, and then he comes out. I don't, I don't hold with all this reading a newspaper, reading a book, doing a bit of Sudoku, any of that. It, it's strictly get in, get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, get, get it out, out, get it all with Get on with my day. Right. <laughs> That's T-shirt material. That, that. is T-shirt material. Um, I think you should start checking for, for spiders and things. Okay. Because the, you don't know what's going to be down there. You don't, because sewers, you know, they're open things. There was that goldfish I did flush. Well, what, what if it turned out to be a piranha? I know, mm -hmm. mutated. Or worse, like this Australian gentleman, who was bitten in the genitals by a, by a python. Is that a euphemism? No, no, it was actually sat on the toilet doing his business. Python came up and went, Oi, 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 why are you pooping on me? Add a nibble. Oh. Of his, of his what? Of his meat and two veg. Okay. Of, of his love spuds. His love spuds, so his testicles. His testicles. Not his sheep. And then they, got, they got, got a bit of the peen too. Oh. Python's got a big gob. They do, don't they? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you implied that a python could deep throat there, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, Australian man um, had basically sat down and, and got bitten and was then treated for minor injuries. Um, escaped with little more than a nasty shock and a story to tell. Oh, wh where did the snake come from then? The toilet. Yeah, I know that, but where was it previously? In Have you only got half system? a story again? Are you not Oh, no, you mean, you mean where in the world was this? Yeah, this is Australia. Yeah, but where did the snake come from? To the, go in the toilet? The, under the sewage. So it, it, it came up. But where did it come from before that? It just came from outside. From the world? From the world. From the snake. From nature? From nature. It's a snake okay. in Australia. Right. <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know whether it, it, you know, it would... Because that doesn't look like it's indigenous, a python. Well, it, it came from the, the downstairs area and... Bitty. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, I think he was just a bit annoyed that he had pooped on. <laughs> it shouldn't have been in the toilet then, should it? <laughs> <laughs> it was just Come on. out. They're cold-blooded. If they're feeling warm, they have to go somewhere cool. 
Well, it's all a sad story all round, isn't it? It is. <laughs> did what happened to the snake then? Did they? Did they? See, because there's a photograph up there, huh? so he obviously didn't bite him that hard for him not to turn around and. Well, look, as I said, minor injuries. So, oh, a snake's just bitten my scrotal. I, th I think he did go. Oh, I think something's just bit my. I think he might have jumped up and screamed a bit, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Wow. Is it? Is everything okay now? Everything's though? fine. Yeah, because it's not. It's not a venomous snake. Okay, the and he's a constrictor rather than. A, oh, okay. Venom. So is um, he healed? And, and uh, not wandered yet. the world. Not he, he will be. He will, he get will be soon. And the snake. It's just minor injuries. Have they released that back into the, um, into it's in the world? It's in captivity now. It's in captivity. It's in captivity now. Oh, but it regrets that. Sent down. Sent down. Sent down. Nibble on a man's testicles and you end up in prison. Had he apparently. done any business on it before? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Literally shit on a snake. Shit on so the, the snake, snake head. Bit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for saying. Well, I'd bite somebody's. Testicles, are they? <laughs> I've been known to nibble on them even without that. So, hey, um, I'm going to move on. Please. And this is a, a new revelation about COVID. Oh, okay. another one. You're double jabbed. I am. And I'm double jabbed. Um, well, there's a, a thought process going on that there's you know, side effects to these COVID-19 vaccinations. Okay. You know, there's, there's people saying, oh, they've got microchips in them. They don't. Yeah, that they're, they're going to be able to track you wherever you are. Right, but a new ones come out that it's going to make you magnetic. Really? Yeah, and so they've, they've said that you know people are putting magnets on themselves and things to see if they're magnetic after they've had the vaccination. Straight away. Well, it's pretty much straight away, yeah. So I thought, well, I'm double jabbed, and you're double jabbed. Okay. Right. The science is saying it doesn't make you magnetic. So I've got a spoon. Where would you like me to put it? Well, I'll, I'll stick it on me first. Right. See if I'm magnetic, and then we'll test you. Do I not have my own spoon? No. Oh. I want to have one spoon. So should we give it a try? Go for it. Okay. Am I magnetic? <gasps> oh. Oh. I'm magnetic. It must be true. Or it's bull, because there's stereo tape on the back of it. Mm. Another one of those things, don't believe everything you see on the internet. That's always my foible, though. Your foible? Yeah, I don't know what that means. You bounce on your nose as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'd yeah. probably do that before. That, yeah, <laughs> technically I'm resting it on my chin as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, COVID vaccines don't make you magnetic. I repel everything anyway, so... Now, we're going to a food story now. Oh, great. You love a food story. I do, Mike. Okay, so this one I think you'll appreciate. Okay, as, you know, you see people advertising different food substances. Mm. Yeah, and products. Mm -hmm. You've got to think of an imaginative way to advertise that, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so... How would you advertise your favourite food? Just it being food is, is, is fine <laughs> okay. for me. <laughs> just eat this. Yeah, eat this. Yeah, I think I'd have the same thing, but just above a, a you know, crotch area. Oh, OK. Um, yeah. um, well, this is after an Edinburgh cafe has been slammed by parents. Oh, slammed. Slammed by parents <sighs> for advertising their delicious bacon sandwiches <sighs> with images of Peppa Pig. That's where it comes from. I know, but imagine little kids getting all distressed because it's Mama Pig and Daddy Pig. And... I think parents sort of misjudge their kids' kind of feelings about stuff like this. <laughs> I don't kid think kids care that much. Do you not? No. Give me a bacon sandwich, Mum, and shut your face. So you wouldn't want to see a picture of Peppa Pig plus bread advertising <laughs> bacon no, lettuce? didn't they do ham? Peppa Pig ham? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. But that was, that was ham styled in the shape of Peppa Pig, not... It was still pig. It's not Peppa Pig made into the thing. Yeah, but it was still ham from a pig. Yeah, but that's a conversation, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, well. But so, under the cloche, I thought I'd get you just a standard bacon sandwich. Okay. Just a normal, run-of-the-mill bacon sandwich. Oh, no. Oh, there's nothing there. Oh, no, the producer must have beaten you to it. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. You won't get a bacon sandwich today, then. To interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and on YouTube, we're under Chewing the Cud. And now we go to Story of the Week. Where do you keep your money, Lee? I keep it close to my heart. Really? I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're going out? Um, I have, um, I have a, a coin purse. <laughs> coin purse. I think I've got a coin purse, too. I, I have a wallet. <laughs> have but a I, wallet? I very rarely have... Real money. The reason why I ask is because uh, 
businessman in Ireland has banned what he's known as, as called bra money. Bra money? Bra money from being used in the shop. What's bra money? And that's literally when, when ladies keep their, their money in the bra. Okay. It's so like a £10 note shoved in a cup. Okay. In between the flesh and the, the lacy bits. All right. I didn't mm. know that was a thing. It is indeed. Um, but he said that it's unsanitary, especially in the warm weather. Yeah. Mm. But money now is made out of plastic. Mm -hmm. So it's wiped clean. So you just wipe it. Exactly. But that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that, Mike. Um, I myself keep a penny in my bra. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. But let's go it's with it. Better than keeping it in your tuppence. It's a pleasure as always. But next we have Lee in the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the sensational showbiz with Lee. Don't you do that. I didn't do that, I did that. Well, I've got my hand on my mouth. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? So, yeah. <laughs> mm. so show, let's have a little bit of showbiz news. A bit. We're going to start off a little bit sad. Okay. And then we're going to progressively get happier. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're, we're on an emotional journey. An emotional okay. celebrity journey. Okay. So we are we're quite big fans of Lizzo here. <laughs> you well, wanted sad to start not, with. Not sad yet. Okay. You tell so, me when I'm sad. You can be sad in a minute, but not okay. quite yet. Not yet. Okay. So Lizzo. Yes, like Lizzo. Has been a bit. She's been a bit sad. Okay. Because she's been getting a bit of grief from those little <laughs> trolls, inter internet trolls. That's what you. That's what you do. Um, because she's just released mm. a new song and a new video called "Rumors" with um, Cardi B. Okay. Cardigan B. Um, and I think nowadays people think that just because you've put something out there. You can say whatever you like about that. what that person has put out. Right, OK. Um, so she's had a lot of grief from people posting, saying that she's fat, that she's ugly, okay. that she shouldn't be doing what she's doing. Um, we've got a picture of her here. She's, she's here with in the video with um, Cardi B. Um, and so she took to um, Instagram mm. to kind of talk about how she was feeling about what people were saying. Mm -hmm. um, and she was kind of like saying, you know, that... Those are really hateful comments that you've been put in. And just because somebody's famous doesn't mean to say that the stuff that you say about them doesn't make them feel mm -hmm. bad about themselves. Um, and um, they've put it's fat phobic. She's put it's fat phobic. It's racist. It's hurtful. Um, and she's kind of like saying, as a black woman, you should be celebrating, you know, because mm -hmm. there's very few black women yeah. in showbiz in general. Mm -hmm. So stop, stop. And... Um, Cardi B. Now, I'm not a massive fan of Cardi B, I have to say. Okay. She's not my cup of tea. No. I just think, pull your clothes on, love. Just have a chill. Um, she, <laughs> she, she's kind of w given her opinion and, like, said, stop it, nerds. Um, in, in, in one tweet, she said, body shaming and calling her mammy is racist. Because I think mm -hmm. some people have referred to her as mammy, which is a, a racial slur for a, for a, a, a certain kind of black woman of size. Um... So, you know, it's all that kind of hashtag be kind. Mm -hmm. I don't think people have learned about it, have they? Well, no, because it was only be kind while it was being popular. Yeah. Now it's like... Back to normal. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, but, you know, good for her for sticking with it mm -hmm. and not feeling that she has to go and now go away and change herself to fit into what people think mm -hmm. she should be. Yeah, I mean, Lizzo's always been very body positive mm. and saying this is me, this is I'm, you know... This is who I'm doing. The song Juice was yes. all about her being curvaceous. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And the song's pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's not. You know, I'm not really a hippy hop person. Hippity hop, hippity hoppity hippity music. Hop. But I quite like it. Okay. Yeah. So be kind, uh -huh. or we'll come around and batter you. So just or just be kind. Just be kind. Rather than being kind and then threatening people. <laughs> some people. That's the only way some people will learn. Kill them with kindness. Okay. Give them, give them a big hug and a squeeze until they don't resist oh, anymore. Until their bones crack. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So we'll go on to something a little bit more positive. Oh, good. So you like Queer Eye, don't you? You like watching it? <laughs> I thought you were about to say cock then. 
Well, I mean, that's just a given. Don't need to <laughs> yes. say anything. Yes, yes, straight away. Queer Eye, the television programme. I, I do enjoy Queer Eye. I, I much prefer the original, but I, I will watch that. Oh, interesting. Well, I like neither. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's the end. Um, it's because they go into people's houses and go, that's tat, that's awful, that's disgusting. No, I just... No. And you don't want them to come round to your place. No, because there would be nothing for them to do. There would be no point. Um, so you just need two two things for your <laughs> just two things for your house to make it look better. Petrol and a match. Hashtag be kind, Mike. Yeah, straight away it's out the window, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, you were threatening away. to kill people after <laughs> <laughs> beat them up so, if they weren't. So. Let's go back to show business. So Tan France, Tan, yeah, one of the presenters has just announced that he's had his first son oh. called Ishmael France on Instagram. So he's he's put give our son a warm welcome under a photograph of him and his husband Rob. Holding the baby. Oh, that's cute. So they welcomed the baby in July mm -hmm. um, um, by surrogacy. Mm -hmm. um, and um, everything went really well. His husband, Tom, is a paediatric nurse. Okay. So that's, you know, a oh. head start of, you know, looking after babies and stuff. Um, looking after babies and stuff. Looking after babies and stuff. Um, so they... So they all dead happy, dead mm -hmm. loved up, which is really nice. Um, which... He's kind of, so Tan France is taking a little bit of paternity leave. Okay. Um, so Queer Eye's not filming currently, but it will be eventually. Okay. But he's gone into that sort of the podcast realms. Mm. There's quite a lot of celebrities doing podcasts. So he's got a new podcast out called Tan France's Queer Icons. Okay. And you can download it wherever you download podcasts from. Same so, place you get ours from. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> News? Um, so <laughs> Every show... Oh, your podcast app, search for Trina Good. It's like, yeah. I just thought it was for us. Um, so he... <laughs> his podcast is about people in his life that have impacted him okay. on his sexuality and being a, a gay person. So initially, he was like, I was going to say Elton John. I was going to say, you know, celebrities. Yeah. But looking into it deeper, he has he has decided that one of the people that he hadn't even realised had an influence on his life, mm -hmm. and probably all of our lives, is, is a lady called Dr Evelyn Hooker. Mm -hmm. And she was um, a psychiatrist who did a lot of research into the psychological makeup of gay people. Yep. And, and she kind of, like, proved that um, it's not a choice. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh... I'm just going to be gay now. Yeah. Um, so he he's like so you know she was so she she proved that it that being gay is neither a mental health or psychological issue. It's mm -hmm. not something that it's is not, chosen or it's exactly. a crime. Uh, we've got a picture of her up on the screen now. Um, and and basically saying if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't be married to his husband. He wouldn't be able to have a baby, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't be. A, and to be fair, I'd never heard of this lady before. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's the, the one that came up with the whole is it nature or nurture argument. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's the way they looked at it was it nature or nurture and, and proved that it was definitely a nature rather than nurture yes. thing. Yes, yeah. Um, which then led on to the whole well, if it's a nature thing, then it can't be a mental illness because of X, Y, and Z. And yeah. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good for him and good for him kind of not going down the, the route of going Kylie, which yeah. is Where you go. what I would have said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and who's your most inspirational? Kylie. Kylie. Okay, and, and who's had the biggest impact you like, Kylie? Kylie? And who would you like to meet the most, Kylie? <laughs> I'm, yeah, Puddle, deep me. <laughs> Puddle deep. Puddle. Also, what what would happen if you met Kylie? <laughs> Puddle. <laughs> I have met her. And what happened? It went horribly wrong. Because you did what? Because I acted cool. <laughs> I acted cool and said that I didn't want any... You act yeah. cool at all. I did, I went like... Oh, have, we never, have we never told... This is a story for another time. <laughs> okay. But, you know, we'll, we will talk. So, you've brought back that memory, Mike. Let's go. Right, so... When you shot down Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of my life's biggest regrets. Anyway, um, so, have you ever wondered what the Queen eats? Food. Well, yeah, but what type of food? So, from what I understand, it's actually quite boring food. Oh, okay. She doesn't like spice. No. She likes a lot of sort of like the same things. So a lot of salmon, poached fish, that sort of thing. Quite bland, basic food. Mm. Well, she's ninety-five, so there must be something in her diet that's contributing to her longevity. Gin. Gin. Fetuses? No. <laughs> 
souls of the newborn. But none of that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's what Andrew's for. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Andrew, go get me some new souls. These are a bit old, Mum. I'll keep these. <laughs> so, so her she- her former chef. So when they're work, so when you're working for the royal family, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to give interviews about yeah. what's yeah. happening and NDA'd. books and stuff yeah. like that. You can only do that once you've left the employment. Mm-hmm. So her former royal chef, Darren McGrady, has revealed that that there is a, a leather-bound book of menus that the Queen has okay. that she will, um, at the beginning of each week, she will kind of put ticks next to the things that she wants. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's not like fish finger but fish, fish, hmm? fish finger butties. Fish full of butties. Fish finger butties. It's not microwave pizza. It's not beige food. It's, you know, but it's not, yeah, she's not massively adventurous. Yeah. She kind of likes what she likes. So, so her favourite dessert is creme brulee. Can't eat creme brulee. Why not? It's the wrong kind of jiggle. Do you know, it's nice creme brulee though. No, I like the taste. It's the wrong kind of jiggle. It's an aesthetic thing for me. So th- this is a picture of him. The chef, yeah. I presume not in the royal kitchen. She has, so... Set things. So a breakfast. She always starts the day with a cup of Earl Grey tea. Okay. Milk, Minus milk, milk and sugar. Leather. Neither. Okay. Just as it comes. Side of biscuits. It says a side of biscuits along with her corgis. I don't know whether it means that <laughs> <laughs> she eats a corgi. <laughs> That's why she has so many. <laughs> um, like that, like the program V when the when she ate a hamster and opened her mouth really wide like that. Did you ever see that? <laughs> no. <laughs> And you're a geek. You should know that. In the in the program V about aliens taking over the planet, they ate animals. And there's a famous scene where one of them gets a ham, not a hamster, a guinea pig, and opens the mouth really wide, and it slides down. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the Queen does that with any of the corgis. I think he no, means she has to knife and fork with the corgis. <laughs> I think that the corgis come and join her in the bedroom. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Always nice to know what an old person eats. And then also what the Queen has as well. But stick around, because coming up, we have our Game of the Week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week we are playing our Gobby Game Show. And the rules for this are quite simple. Lee, all you have to do is disappear off the set while I explain what's going on. Okie dokie. Game of the Week. So, while Lee sets himself up, I'll let you know what he's going to do. He's basically going to stick something in his mouth hole, make it as wide as possible, and try and explain things he's got on a card. Are you ready with your mouth hole? Yes. I said, are you ready? Yes. No idea. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to assume he's ready. Do you want to get the first one out then? These are all hee ho. All what? of them are hee ho. The, the what, sorry? All, all of them are people. Oh, okay, people. Right, okay. First one. Why are you there? Dull? Yellow head? In the yellow Harley? Hi, you little. Oh, uh, 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 choking. It's porn. No, no, no. Uh, yellow. He's the father of the family. Don. Don't Uh. What was that? Um. Oh, what was the last clue you gave me? Duff here. What? Duff. Duff here. Duff here. Duff. Ah, oh, fuck off. And... <laughs> <laughs> uh, cartoon. Oh, cartoon. Yeah. <coughs> Wacky races. Oh, Any strength. Finally. Large, Rat, Lisa, Lady, <laughs> Nagy. The Simpsons. No, who are the Simpsons? 
You said it's a family. No, who I'm trying to describe the person. Who else is I hadn't mentioned? Dog? The dog. Santa's little helper. Snowball one or two, depending on what way you're up to in the season. Yes, Mike, it's Snowball. Oh, okay, good. Got a point, yeah. It's not, it's Homer Simpson. Oh, Homer Simpson, yeah. I thought you said Homer Simpson now. I didn't. Well, you said Marge Homer. No, Marge, Bart, Lisa, Maggie. I thought you had Next one. You got something in your mouth. I can't help. Next one. Another cartoon character. Okay. Okay. Um, from the 60s all the way up to now. Uh, <laughs> hunts ghosts. He what? Ghosts? Hunts ghosts. And monsters. Ghosts and monsters. <laughs> Can't give me the name of what it is. That's cheating. But that's what he says. Yeah, but by, by doing that, you've also mentioned the name of the show. But do you know what it is? Yeah, because I've just worked out it's Scooby Doo from you saying Scooby Doo. Hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't press the buzzer. Okay, another person. Okay. No, not with us anymore. Rest in peace. Bruce Forsyth. No. American. Bruce Forsyth. He's not American. Okay. Um, and I... <laughs> do you know Crack is crack. I have a great much money to do crack. Who's that? <laughs> I am the queen of the night. I got the stuff that you want. Do 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 is it Michael Jackson? Oh, God. No. Slightly after Michael Jackson died. After Michael Jackson yeah, died? Yeah, lady, girl. Or lady? Girl, yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Whitney Houston. It is! Yeah. That was uncanny, that, that singing. Oh, no, you said I can't do that because you just said, I'll try. What, are you going to say Michael Jackson? Yeah. Hackers. That wasn't Michael Jackson. Check the coney. Um, <laughs> he did say check the coney, though. Check the coney. He <laughs> I'm going way too much fun this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Okay. It's a hoohit. Hoohit. It's green. It is. Um, it, it goes out of the pig. Um, <laughs> so it's a hoohit. It's a hoohit. It's green. It's green. And it holds a pig. Goes out of the pig. A pig. A pig. 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 Hig. 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 What are you saying? You're saying hig. Hig. Hig, yeah. Hig. Not a hig. It's higgy. <laughs> it's not a hig, it's a hig. It's higgy. It's higgy. It's higgy. You're it's. <laughs> Just call me a Muppet. So I'm the Muppets. I'm not a Muppet. No, he is. He's, He's a leader of the Muppets. Hi, Ronnie. Fuzzy Bear. <sighs> Is Fuzzy Bear green? No. He's in charge of the Muppets. Shrek. Oh? Shrek. He's not in the Muppets, you <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <laughs> What are you shouting at me the other week? You know Shrek. it is, he's just doing it to provoke my anger. 
to annoy your anger. I am there poking your anger. It's 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 Kermit the Frog. It is Kermit the Frog. Ugh. Right, this is another person. Are they all people? So, um, soap opera. Okay. Okay, and in it for ages and ages and ages. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw. Got cotton. Yes! So that's when you do it seriously. When you guess seriously. Not messing around. Okay. Um, fictional character. Rick Astley. No. Um, green. Not Kermit the Frog. Um, <laughs> Not um, Kermit the Frog. Not Kermit the Frog, but he's green. So, not Kermit the Frog. Yeah, but he's green. <laughs> yeah? Um... Oscar the Grouch. No, he's, 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 he's not really a kid's character. On a planet. On a planet far away. Uh, that is special, that is. Ooh, I'm green, I am. I thought he was on a planet far, far away rather than a farmer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, oh, I'm uh, green, I am. <laughs> I, uh, ooh, uh, and then, he's a Rayleigh, and then I already wanted it because he was a Rayleigh. Ah, oh, little Rayleigh. Didn't sleep, just as a little Rayleigh. Oh, I am. I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be. The older. Yeah! Oh, do you want more? Or are you doing yeah. more? No, no. Okay. Um, she is a lady. She's a singer. Um, she also is an actress. Uh, <laughs> Lady Gaga. Who? Hey? Lady Gaga? No. Think older. Older than Lady Gaga. Yeah. Madonna. No, I think even older than Madonna. Older than Madonna? Yeah. Hi, y'all, it's me. Fucking Nana. That sounded like the Bee Gees. It's not the Bee Gees. <laughs> that is the Bee Gees sang 9 to 5. That's what it would sound like. Fucking Nana. To... <laughs> so, another list of what it's not here. It's not the Bee Gees. It's not the Bee Gees. But she sings 9 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drooling. <laughs> <laughs> My finger's soaking. Said that to all the boys. <laughs> oh, are you really sure? <laughs> um, it was Dolly Parton. It is! Yes. Oh, is that it? After this break, it's time to get our craft on as we stick around for Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show that somehow manages to reference a penis every single time. It's Crafty Queens. You say that like it's a bad thing, Mike. Referencing it's not really fun. Oh. Well, let's see if we can make up for it today in my crafting studio. Doubtful. Do you know what? This is people have told me that this is the highlight of their week. This. Of course they have. These are the same people that say that you are special. It's a bit mean. It's true. It's a bit mean. Anyway, let's crack on. So before you, uh -huh. you have a you have a large canvas. I do. I, I have swapped one out. It's quite you large. You swapped a, a large canvas out. You've got some paint. You've got. Um, I'm going to say they're called craft knives or palettes. Palette knives. Yeah. I've never used these before. Oh, this so is going to well. <laughs> So we're going to create a lovely piece of artwork that you will want to adorn your walls of your of your abode for many years. Many years. So we're going to do a rainbow. Because, you know, who doesn't like a rainbow? I like a rainbow. Yay! So, first of all, we're going to do the background. Okay. So you need your tube of blue paint, because that's going to be sky-coloured. Okay. And what you want to do is choose which palette knife you, you want to use. 
got the size. Do you think you've got two? I've got three. Yeah, I'm going to use a large one because I'm assuming I'm doing a large area. Yeah, because we're going to cover the whole of the area. And what you're going to do is you're just going to splodge your blue all over the canvas. Ooh, what a lovely colour. Oh, pardon me. That was... Um... Ooh! <laughs> Some of these noises I don't believe are coming from the paintly. It's quite satisfying doing this, actually. Is it? It's quite, quite therapeutic. So, I would use the whole tube. Okay. okay once you've got it all on there, mm -hmm. you're going to, like, smooth it all out. Okay. So it's going to be like... Ice in a cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just I feel like I'm a, like a proper artist. You are in no way, any way, shape, or form. Smooth over Bob Ross. Smooth over the edge. You see, I've referenced paint along with Nancy a number of times. Nobody knows. No, but um... what the hell I'm talking about? But she used to do this. Paint but, along with Nancy. But the joy of, do, 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 joy of painting. Do, do. No. No, the joy of painting, yes. Okay. But you want a little bit of texture. Do, 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 do. How, how even do you want this? Well, it's, it's the sky, Mike, so whatever. Oh, okay. Am I, am I allowed to do a happy little cloud? Um, you can do it. You, you... A happy little cloud. Happy little cloud. Happy little cloud. Happy little cloud. Um, yeah. Ah, so once you, ooh, I'd quite way. happily sit and just do this all day. Is is that all we're doing? We're just yeah. And that's it. Paint. The end. It's like ASMR. Paint ASMR. Ooh, ooh. Only nobody's going to find this enjoyable or relaxing. <laughs> Bit of texture. Now we're going to do the rainbow. Ah. Oh. So. You don't, you don't need your um, palette knives for this. Okay. You've got a selection of, of colours. I do? Yeah. So you're going to start... Choose the... Which one do you want to use first? What colour do you want to go for first? Well, I've not got a rainbow coloured selection. I know. They're not ex They're not technically... We're not doing a rainbow, well. They're not Richard of York gave battle in vain. They're just like an interpretation. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing an, uh, an avant-garde. Avant yeah. I like that word. I haven't got yeah. it. It just means not very good. Yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. I'm going to do blue first. Okay. And what we're doing with it? Find the colour that you want to use first. Uh huh. And um, I'll guide you through it. You, okay. I mean, you don't have to be too perfect, Mike, with that. I'm giving it texture. You said to give it okay. texture. Okay. So I'm you're going to sort of halfway through sort of the centre of the canvas, mm. do a little arc of colour. Like... And then stop. So I'm doing the arc of the colourant. Okay. Is that a reference to... A... Indiana Jones. Oh, okay. Isn't that satisfying, Mike? No. No. It's not in the middle. Well, it's it's fine because it will it will even itself out. So then you're going to repeat that with the col the colours that you what you've got okay. until until you're like happy with with what with your the shape of your. Well, I'm already not happy with it. Well, suck it up and get on with it. <laughs> I have to suck up paint. That doesn't sound. No, funny. just just pull your big boy pants on. Yeah, on. And just accept that. In nature, nothing is perfect. Except me. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, did I just beat you to it, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> did I beat you to the joke you were about? Very, yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Not sorry. Um, and then, yeah, just keep going. You don't want massive amount of paint. We're going to do something very, very exciting once we've got these colours on. I'm going to put it in the bin. <laughs> Unsurprisingly... Like everything I do in Crafty Queens, I've not done this before. <laughs> ah, well, that's a surprise. So I'm going to go for a bit of yellow. I'm using yellow as well at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> then we're going to put these outside of the studio when we're done. We could do, or we could we, sell them, Mike. We do keep trying to get people to steal stuff that you've made us make before. <laughs> we could we could sell them. For what? To, for, to people. But for what? To, to, to decorate their homes. You think people are going to pay for this? Yeah. If they pay... What a special world you live in. For elephants... Painting with paintbrushes on canvas, they're gonna paint for they're gonna pay for this, aren't they? No, okay. Um, I'm quite happy with my colours. Okay. Right. Are you quite happy with your colours? I suppose so. Right. So what you're gonna do is you've got a pre pre rolled off sheet of cellophane, cling film, whatever you call it. Plastic wrap. Yep. Yeah. What wrap? Plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. And you are gonna place that over the top mm. of your picture. Trapping the shites that we've already done. Okay. Okay. Let me just... Right, then what you're going to do now is, mm. with your hands, with your little fingers, yeah. you're going to squidge the rainbow colours mm. out. Oh, I'm liking this. It's a bit... It's not really messy because you're not getting any on your fingers. You can be quite, you can be quite firm. Well, no, I can't because my, my cling film doesn't quite reach all the way to the edge. So if I oh, if if you I put a lot, firm, it'll... see yours is very precise. I've gone more freestyle, freestyle, wiki wiki wiki. A little bit of dribble edge. Are you done? Right, I'm done. Okay, so now what you want to do is very carefully mm -hmm. take off the cellophane. Plastic wrap. And that in itself is beautiful. It's going to pop mine there. And there you have... Just pop it on... Just... just it on the table, Mark. It's okay. It's not going to hurt you. I'm covered in paint. Okay. I'll wipe off. Told me this was mess free. And there you go. You've got a beautiful picture of a rainbow. Now, if you if you so, are so inclined, mm -hmm. you can add some white clouds. We're not okay. going to do it now because we're in out of time, babes. Oh, okay. But you can do that off, off camera. Okay. okay. All right. I'd put glitter on it, you'd but put, that is me. You'd put glitter on it. You need about four years for it to dry uh -huh. before you can wet. put it on the wall. Yeah. There. And I think that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is. So, you know what I'm going to say, people? If you can't get any peen, be a crafty queen. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcasts, search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. So what you need to do? Oh, that's, 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 no, 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 it's. <laughs>